Hey guys, what's up, Grimishing Tam? Back with another video, and today we have the AFC Conference Championship for our Tennessee Titans franchise. In the third season, we are going against the Kansas City Chiefs at home at 305. So we'll be playing apparently the early slated game of the A of the conference championships. Yeah, it's gonna be a tough game. You know, anybody that has played Madden 24 and has played against the CPU on all Madden knows exactly how hard this team is to beat the Kansas City Chiefs, and especially going against them head to head while playing the game. They can score at any possible moment, right? And especially in the early seasons where they still have Mahomes, they still Rasheed Rice is probably in the upper 80s, low 90s. You know, Isaac Pacheco's there. Kelsey may or may not be there. I don't think he is anymore. Um, but still, they have a very talented team, to say the least. Beat him earlier in the season. I'll say that much. But we did have Malik Willis in compared to Will Levis. Now, Will Levis is arguably the better, is definitely the better quarterback. But Malik Willis just provides such a dynamic threat against the Chiefs. You know, does that make a factor in today's game? You know, the Malik Willis being able to run even more, will that cr create a kind of, you know, disadvantage for us? I don't know. One big thing did happen. Our center, Christian Malone, did go down with an injury during practice. He did break a couple things. He broke his finger, so he will not be playing. We're going to leave him off of IR just for now. Um, we have 11 offensive linemen on the roster as it sits, so I'm just going to leave him be for now. Um, so we will be moving Dorian Dixon over to center. And then of course, Titus Horton will be starting at that right guard position. I just want a little bit more pass protection more than anything else. Unfortunately, are losing him? That's actually his first game missed all season is going to be the AFs is going to be arguably the most important game of the season. So it's going to be a tough game. It definitely is going to be a tough game. We got to go in here. We got to win this. Simple as that, you know? This is the best time that we'll have an advantage right now. So let's go ahead and get things underway. We do have upgrade players to take care of. We got a couple here. Will Lovis, Lindsey Goodwill, Kim McIntyre, and others. So some of our key guys still getting upgrades to this point. Really showing out, sh showing up. Like I've said before, it's going to be about, about our defense. It legitimately is going to be about our defense and whether or not the pass rush can get home or if the cornerbacks can just make a play. You know, we don't need the defensive line to be able to get home if the the cornerbacks are just making plays to begin with, right? That's definitely something to be noteworthy as well. So, and you know, this could be the last game of some of these players' careers in Tennessee. You know, there's a lot of people coming off contract, and they have younger guys behind them that we are looking to, you know, create more development with. You know, guys like Mark Vickers, guys like Brandon Davidson, you know, so many other young guys that we've brought in over the last couple of years through the draft they might be getting their look next year. So a lot of these guys, this is a legacy game in the Tennessee Titans uniform form. Guys like Amani Hooker, guys like Traylon Burks, guys like Roger McCreary as well. It's going to be a tough game. It is. You know, like I, like I said earlier, this is going to be a tough game just because it's the Kansas City Chiefs. They play so ridiculously well. I'm not expecting them to run the football. If I remember correctly, they only ran the ball like eight or nine times in the last game. I don't expect them to start running the ball all of a sudden. So, you know, that there's that. Yeah, they've been playing great football recently. I'm going to insult them. Fuck it. I'm going to fucking insult them. I don't give a fuck what they have. I'm going to go in there. I'm going to fucking beat the shit out of them. And we're going to get to the Super Bowl. Potentially take on the either Dallas Cowboys or the Detroit Lions. But with that being said, guys, let's hop in and get things underway in Nashville, Tennessee. Man, we're going to have to be on our shit today. We're going to have to be the best offensive performance we've probably had all season. Is probably going to have to come today to take down Patrick Mahomes. He plays ridiculous in Madden more than any other quarterback. You know, you get to him and, oh, he makes a fantastic throw, crossbody, deep down the field. Oh, you don't get to him, he's going to have all day to throw and he's going to find the open guy and pick you apart. Our defensive line has to step up. Our corners have to step up. And then our offensive line is going to be the big piece, slowing down Christian Jones, slowing down guys like George Karloftis, uh, all types of guys. Just Will Levis has to play out of his mind today as well. Simple as that. So our Tennessee Titans offense will come out for the first time today at the 22-yard line. Of course, this is what I prefer. I prefer to get the offense out onto the field and give us an opportunity to go down and make a score. Go down and hit them in their fucking mouth. That's what I am expecting this offense to do. Now we just got to go out and do it at this point. 
Now, of course, I'm going to be completely honest. I'm perfectly fine with running the football. If they don't come out here and want to stop us at this point, I'm going to run the football up their ass all fucking day. It's as simple as that. First and 10, going to hand off. Tajay Spears gets to the outside. Tyron Smith with a good block. Cuts back inside. Gets a big gain there. 15 off the bat. Already having a better game than he had last week. He only had like 11 yards on the ground last week. And now already up to 37. I would love to go to this PA slot go play that we've ran a lot this season that has had very big results. But I don't like being on the left side of the field. Maybe we can go to it on the next play if we're in a good situation. Hand off Spears here on this right side. Christian Jones able to make a play. Second and eight, I don't really want to call it just quite yet just because of where we're at in the down and dis distance. Um, because if we don't get any yards on it, then we're in a particularly not great spot going forward. Second and eight, going to hand off Spears again. He's going to have to cut up inside and bolt in there. Uh, not great. Is it Nick? Fuck, I for already forgot his name. I don't fucking remember. Third and five, though, here. We're actually going to run Melton on this zig route just to see if he can get going. I know he's going to be going to go up against Trent McDuffie a lot today, so it's going to be quite difficult to get him even more involved. So yeah, just see right there, Trent McDuffie coming down so quick, so fast. Fourth and two. Not exactly what I wanted. Inside zone, we're going to run it here. We'll bring Wiley across, help out on that edge. Hopefully Tyron Smith or Peter Skronsky can work up to these backers. Get going. Downhill right here right now. Tajay Spears, first down and more. Lindsey Goodwell now down. Fuck, that means I got to go switch some things up. Because I need because I need a Horton to go to right tackle, and then I need Thurman to come in at this point. Like, as much as I like Nicholas petit Fier, Horton's just such a better overall, and so is Max Thurman, that it just makes sense to do it this way. Lindsey Goodwell is going to be out, so that is unfortunate, losing our right tackle. Two offensive linemen already down. This whole right side of the offensive line is a different unit, so hopefully we can get some things going. First and ten here. Wham, down the middle. Spears still working his feet, getting five there. I will like to say that I do want to get... I would like to say I do want to get Haskins involved as well. I think we'll go to him maybe on the next drive. Maybe we sub him in completely. Say Spears take the drive off. Haskins is going to be in. Second and five now. I like Melton here on this out. Just Trent McDuffie's going to sit over top of him again. Looks like man coverage. No, drop in the zone. Linton underneath. Catch. Hold on to the football. Spears with a good block. Able to come away with that catch and run. Not a whole ton of running room though. But Jerry Sneed still on this Chiefs team. And it's going to be difficult. In this universe, Travis Kelsey, I think, has retired. So they were able to pay Legereus Sneed. That's not particularly a great look for me. Because, uh, well, Legereus Sneed is a very good corner. Will Levis tucking and running, going down again. Seven. He's already showing those wheels. If they're not going to continue keep their rush lanes clean, well, we're going to take advantage of that. Second and three now, dropping back to pass. Trent McDuffie loses his man. Traylon Burks, corner touchdown. Trey Lon Burks in for the score. First and 10. The Kansas City Chiefs will come out on to the field for their first offensive drive. We went down and hit them in their fucking mouth. We even went for it on fourth and two. We were able to go down and score. Patrick Mahomes, almost 5,000 yards, 44 touchdowns, not a whole ton of picks. I can't remember if we got a pick against him in that game. I think we did. To seal the game at some point. They do have a superstar left tackle. I don't remember that. But they do. And there's Hooker having to come down. Make a play immediately on Isaiah Pacheco. Hooker's going to have to step up. He played so well in the beginning half of the season. Not saying he played poorly in the later half. It's just he wasn't making the big plays. I'm going to have to hope that he can step up and make a couple here today. There's Jeffrey Simmons making his first impact play. Getting through the line. Forcing Pacheco to go down. Only a yard rush there. Third and five. These are super manageable. No, Travis Kelsey is still here. Oh, fuck. I forgot that he's still here. This is not good. Shire's going to have to get there. No, can't quite. Florence making a play on Pacheco. Seven-yard catch there. Screen pass. So already going to a lot shorter stuff than what they were going with last time we played them. Kind of weird. They have two rushes already. Considering the fact that they didn't rush a single time Last time we faced them in the first half, he's definitely weird. Hooker there again, making a big play on the backup tight end, Johnston. Yeah, Johnston. Second and 10 now. That puts him in a bad situation. I'm going to have to hope Evans can play very good here today. 
he has to be one of those guys on the defense to really make an impact. He has to play well. And there's Kadarius Toney again. Well, not again, but there's Kadarius Toney with all that speed. Jesus, we're not off to a good th start. Third and one. Going to send some extra pressure. Five guys here. Five on five. Somebody has to go make a fucking play. And there's Rice again in the slot up against Hooker. And Hooker just, Rice just beat him. Such a good route runner. Able to create separation on that curl. And Hooker nowhere to be found. I'm going to hop on McIntyre. I'm going to see if we can win this edge. If we can beat this tackle back inside. No, we beat him on the inside, outside though. And there's McCreary able to make a play. Another guy that we don't know if he's going to be back next season. Just because of money and you know where we're at as a team as well as youth. It's definitely going to be an interesting conversation this offseason. First and 10. Back on McIntyre trying to win towards the inside. And there's Kadarius Tony again underneath. First and goal now. Down to the 9. Goes the Chiefs offense. It's going to be a challenge all day. It really is. I'm not going to sit here and pretend like it's not going to be. Von Florence we're going to bring down into the box. Cover Travis Kelsey immediately. And there's Rasheed Rice again. Second and goal now. The clock is ticking late here in this first quarter. The drop Shire into coverage. It's just going to have to hope Farley can make a play on Travis Kelsey. There's Patrick Mahomes. I was... Dude, I, I know I was on Jeffrey Simmons and I should have pursued Mahomes, but I saw Pacheco like go out into the flat and I didn't see anybody going after him. So I'm like, fuck it, just cut off the passing route there, if anything. Evans, I'm going to need you to play very good here. Rasheed Rice is going to be somebody that's going to be coming directly at you. No, there's Kadarius Tony and there's a sack from McIntyre on his own. Keenan McIntyre coming up big here in the playoffs. Those edge rushers had no sacks last week against the Raiders. They're getting their first one here today on a third down, stopping them and holding them to three. What a good fucking play for McIntyre. So our Tennessee Titans offense will come back out on the field. Traylon Burks, one catch, 25 yards and a touchdown. Another guy that his future is questionable with the team. Bo Melton has outperformed in the last two years. Tyler Linton has had a very good start to his career. Traylon Burks could be somebody that we do look to not bring back. And of course, with the news of him actually being used as a gunner on special teams already in real life is kind of fucking crazy, to be fair. First and 10, going to hand off here. Spears up the middle. I formation, and Spears is going to make a man miss. Make another man miss. But George Karloft is able to track us down, and Tyrant's miss now down. Titus Horn has to go over to left tackle. Goodwill back in. <sighs> Jesus. Our offensive line is falling apart right now. First and 10. So, Goodwill back in. Horton back in. Back in at that left tackle spot. Four guys, well, three guys still playing diff well in a different situation, you know, or having to step up in this playoff game. First and ten, going to go drop to back to pass, finding Spears underneath. I don't quite like how many touches he's having already. All these hits will add up over time, and I do not want to lose him if we do make it to the Super Bowl. I don't want to lose him for this game either, to be particularly fair, but still. Second and seven. Not saying, you know, I don't think our backups are good. It's just Spears is just such a different level of fucking gamer for us. Linton on this out route just burns his man. Ah, oh, fuck. I had Bo Melton, too, on that corner. And we couldn't even hit fucking Linton, too, to be fair. Going to go drive corner here. Bo Melton has a chance. Linton has a chance. Wiley late here as well. Third and seven. They're going to drop into zone. Bo Melton immediately catch up the field. Gets tackled down by probably Justin Reed there. Yes, that's Justin Reed. Bo Melton, another big catch there for him. I swear, he's he's such a good fucking player. He is, for like I've said all season, especially for the amount we're paying him, he is unbelievable. First and 10, dropping back to pass, trying to find something. I think Linton on this comeback is a good idea, and it is. First and 10, down to the 21. Back to the line we go. We're going to immediately hit this slip screen. Get this offensive line out and rolling. I think we should have a good opportunity here. Yeah. And then Spears just doesn't get to the football enough. Jesus. Going to go bench here on second and 10. These corner routes should have an opportunity to get open as well as these outs. If not, we can look back towards Spears. Dropping back to pass. Trying to find somebody. Can't quite find anything. I think I had fucking, who is that, Melton or is that Burks over there on that left side, the triangle. Might have had him early there as soon as he was breaking, but 
Just didn't quite get to enough. I was looking towards Wiley's side. And that's also a topic of conversation. Last week, Wiley was not involved in the offense at all, by the way. He had no catches. I don't even think he had a target last week. Fourth and six now. Willie Gay just being able to make up such ground. He's such a fast linebacker. I didn't expect him to be able to make up that much ground. Having to settle for a field goal, not particularly terrible. Still scoring here, but not exactly what we want. So Chiefs offense back out to the 25-yard line once again. First and 10. Going to go man coverage immediately here and get our defense involved. They're going to have to come up and make big plays like always. I need somebody to step up. Osa trying to work. No, Rasheed Rice underneath. Catch, run, breaks a tackle. Seven for nine for Patrick Mahomes. Both quarterbacks playing pretty well here to start off the day. We're going to go over Storm Blitz here. Going to set up our defensive backs. They need to go out. They need to play good coverage here. All Everybody in man. Keenan Evans gets through, and there's a sack from the middle backer. Keenan Evans. The two Keenans showing up big here today. Just coming free on that middle in Blitz. Just working his way through. I love that. I love that. Love to see it. McCreary here. Corner blitz. Trying to get home. No. But Von Florence able to make a play on Isaac Pacheco. 7 for 10. Third and 21 now. I want to go this overstorm blitz. But I think I'm going to drop the backers actually. And then we're... Fuck. Shire's going to have to blitz. Yep. Screen pass here. Somebody get to the outside. Somebody. Jesus. Rasheed Rice could have had a first down if he would have ran a little faster. And just gotten to that outside edge. Unfortunately, not for us. Fourth and 11 now. Four minutes, about four minutes to play here. We send Pinnock back to help protect Linton. Linton trying to set up another punt return. He's had a couple this season. No, just can't quite get through some of those holes. First and 10 up to the 36-yard line now. We go six for 51. Like I said, I don't want Tajay Spears to get hit here today as much. Well, not at hit here today as much, just... Gonna take take some of these hits off of him, so we're just gonna leave him in on third downs. But we're gonna put Haskins in on regular downs and power downs. I think that just makes sense. Get him a little bit, you know, especially with the wear and tear system coming potentially in. Of course, NCAA we know confirmed are, but potentially Madden as well. We will have to take a bigger look at some of the impact hits that some of these players do take in these games. Linton underneath. Catch, run, not quite being able to get a block from Spears there on uh, Connor. Going to go P.A. Reed here. Melton's our first option looking back towards Spears. I like Spears in the flat here. Catch, run, get to the outside, making trying to make Snead miss. Can't quite do it. Third and inches now. I think this is some power football here. I think we should see Hassan Haskins here. You're going to go inside zone from shotgun. I like him just downhill against these backers. Six on six in the box with Haskins running the football. Downhill. Just go. Haskins up the middle. Big gain there. 11 yards for Haskins. Hassan Haskins. On well, the Michigan running backs that he's kind of faded into irrelevance in the NFL. Not saying he's bad, but sitting behind, of course, Derrick Henry. And sitting behind, of course, Tajay Spears. And now even T Tony Pollard. It's been tough for him to be on the field, I guess. First and 10. Going to go straight downhill again. Haskins. Downhill, put his shoulder into somebody's chest and just keep trucking. Second and five now. Here comes the two-minute warning. I would have loved to get back to the line here. It keeps trying to tell me to run that PA slot and go. And especially in weird parts of the field. Like, we're at the 40-yard line. By the time that slot and go is ready to go, you're already almost in the end zone. And it just doesn't make sense because then you're just not getting the big play. And it turns into more of a 50-50 ball. Second and five here. Going to go... Back to the air, dropping back, trying to find somebody. Josh Wiley underneath, catch, hold the ball, first down. That's all we needed from you. Thank you, big dog. Going to go wide trail here, first and 10. Looking Linton, of course, but coming back to a guy like Josh Wiley and even Bo Melton on that corner could be open. Linton underneath, catch, run, get up field. He gets seven, okay? Minute 30, just under a minute 30. Clicking off the clock now. We go back to Tajay Spears inside zone here. We have three timeouts, and we're not particularly like, yes, I want to go down and score a touchdown, but if we can milk this clock and come away with three even, I think that's almost just as good of a situation. Tajay Spears down inside the 10, down to the 6. Tyron Smith now down. So he'll be out again. I, I don't even remember telling him to come back, to be fair. So Titus Horton back in. I didn't even notice he was back in. 
Zayas Horton back in at that left tackle spot. First and goal. Back to pass. Trying to find something. I just don't see anything that Justin Reed was just playing so shallow there on that. Going to go to this here. Second and goal. Play action fake. Roll out to the left. Trying to find something. Just throw it to Haskins. Let him hold on to the football. For two yards there. Clock continues to run. PA boot side corner post. I, I like Josh Oliver coming across on this. If we can get to the line and get this set up. Oh my god, what the f Where is he running, Tyler Linton? <laughs> oh my god, what the fuck just happened there? He, he like cut outside, so I'm like, oh, he's gonna cut outside. He's running towards the corner of the end zone. Throw it, throw it, throw it. And then he cuts back, and Will Levis throws it towards the middle of the field, and then it just becomes like a 50 50 ball. And Linton will be able to get there and catch it. I mean, he's probably going up against a safety because, man, like putting in safeties on those goal line looks, I don't. I put my corners in. So, going up against safety, he's going to have a little bit better of a shot, I guess. First and 10. Only 12 seconds. I don't expect them to do much here. Now, of course, if they break a big play, then they could obviously try to do something. But as long as the defense just comes up and tackles, stays in their lanes, I think we should have a pretty easy time. They're just going to take it to half here. Yeah, our team coming out playing well here, of course. That big sack setting. Two big sacks have really set us apart here. Us being able to get to Patrick Mahomes and force him into a second and 21. And then, of course, taking that sack on third down as well when they were down in the red zone. Two very big plays, like I said. Very, very good by the offense. Very good by the defense so far. But that's, that's all we have to do is put pressure on these fucking Chiefs. All we have to do is put pressure on Patrick Mahomes. Force him into even more uncomfortable situations. We should be able to escape here with the win. So, no returns from this Kansas City offense. They are trying to have the best starting field position humanly possible. So, they're just going to take it out at the 25, it seems like, almost every time. First and 10. Immediately going to the air here. Finding Kelsey, getting him involved. I don't know if he might have had one or two catches maybe in that first half. Not a whole ton of plays, though, going his way. So, trying to set a... Tone almost immediately here. Going to hop on Wesley, trying to get him going against this young tackle. He's going to be able to win, beat him inside. There's Kelsey and Ayers, and I think Shair able to make a play on him, knocking the ball out. Big hit there from Ayers as well. Kelsey's going to feel that one. Maybe even tell him to not come over the middle of the field, and he's all, he's off the field, so he must have felt it at least enough. Cover this underneath stuff, and there's Rasheed Rice, and the big play there from Roger McCreary. Able to knock that ball out just enough. Fourth and six now. The Kansas City Chiefs offense has stalled here late. All the way up to the 43-yard line. Tyler Linton having a good day. Five for 45 and a touchdown on six targets. The one target that he did not have a catch on was not his fault. Will Levis overthrew him. It's as simple as that. Going to go towards Hassan Haskins here, even in the second half. And continue with him downhill. Wear this Chiefs defense out. And Tyron Smith is back in, by the way. Why? He has literally gotten injured twice today. Get him off the fucking field. Jesus Christ. Would rather have him for the Super Bowl at this point. See if he can at least stay healthy for somewhat of that. Three down linemen. Are you fucking kidding me? You're going to disrespect me with three down linemen? Then I'm going to run the fucking football with Haskins. If you're going to disrespect me with three down linemen, here's Hassan Haskins. Downhill. Okay, they stopped him. Uh, <laughs> third and three now. 100 rushing yards on the day from us. We're going to go halfback mid-draw here. I, I, I like this. Five on five, big on big. Let's fucking go. Haskins, can he make a play here? Haskins, downhill, up to the safety. Tries to run him over. Can't quite. Five for 36, over seven yards in average here today. The Chiefs were not expecting us to bring Haskins out this much. Again, three down low linemen. That's kind of weird. We're going to motion Drew Sample over to be a fullback here. Downhill we go. Haskins up to the second level and more. Seven yards there. So keeps his average alive. We go PA sprint halfback flat here. See if we can get something. Ooh, that's risky. Can't quite get it to Traylon Burks, though. Third and three, unfortunately. On the move, not a great pass. I probably should have looked for something a little different there. But still, I thought it was at least a decent opportunity. You know, going to run this ball left. I know it's weak side, but I think our tackle should be able to get there. He does. Haskins, downhill. Again, a big run. Not avoiding contact. These safeties are going to have to come up and make a tackle. 
at this point. First and ten. Haskins still in the game has decided that he wants every fucking piece of this Chiefs defense. Rolling out, trying to find something. Wiley underneath. I just didn't trust that square route with those linebackers lurking. I'm like, if I throw this in, this gets picked. I'm going to be more upset that I didn't take the check down and just take the yardage or throw the ball out or something of that nature. You know, if we can come away out of today with no turnovers, I think we should be in a good spot to win this. Of course, we're already in a good spot to win this, of course. I'm just saying more in general. Tyler Linton underneath here. Can he make the play? No. Bolton able to bring him down. First and goal now at the three. Six on seven. I think we should win this. Let's go. Spears trying to get in, and he does. Tajay Spears. Probably should have given it to Haskins. You know, he did a lot of work that drive, but Spears deserves one after not being able to get in last week, you know, going down in that first quarter. Going up 24-3 here. This is going to be a very d difficult road for a team like Kansas City even. First and 10 at the 16. They're immediately going to go run play here with Pacheco. Being down 21, it's kind of odd that you're going towards Pacheco here. I know you want to kind of establish a run here. But, man, it's kind of I, – I know the pass hasn't worked e extremely well for them either. Don't get me wrong. I'm not sitting here saying you have to throw the football. But it, it's just kind of strange a little bit. There's Evans not being able to make a play on that ball. Led really well there by Patrick Mahomes. He's going to have a first and ten now. I don't want Shair blitzing. I would rather have Evans blitzing here. I'd rather have Hooker down in the box as well. And they're running the football again with Pacheco. Shair and Wesley able to get there, stopping him for a negative one yard rush. Derek Wesley, our superstar. Does he not? Oh, okay. I thought Jeffrey Simmons lost his X Factor, by the way. Uh, I just noticed that. Uh, and Derek Wesley still a superstar, so I guess he's not getting X Factor. And there's McIntyre showing up big. Two sacks in the playoffs for him now. McIntyre working really well against that fucking young tackle. And don't get me wrong, I know McIntyre's young as well, so it's not like I'm saying like, oh, the, you know, aging veterans beating up on Osa Digizu is now down. Fuck, and he's holding his arm. Fourth and 17, Wesley able to get pressure as well as Simmons. Osa Digizu is now going to be out. I'm calling our play. I'm calling it. I'm calling the PA slot and go play. I don't care what side of the field we're on. I don't care where we're at. I'm calling the play. I want to run it. This is the time to run it. This could be the kill shot here. If we get this play to work, this, like I said, this could be a kill shot here. First and 10. I'm going to go immediately to it. Play action fake. Looking, trying to find something. No, just not quite what I wanted. And it's going to be picked. Oh, thank the fucking Lord. Sneed couldn't get his feet down. That was such a bad fucking ball too, by the way. That was such a bad ball. Holy fuck, Will Levis. I said throw it towards the sideline and like give Linton a chance. He didn't even give Linton a chance. The ball didn't even get there. Second and 10 now. Dropping back to pass. Trying to find something here. Can't quite find anything. Just throw the ball away. Get outside the pocket. Throw it away. Third and 10. That defense is coming very fast right now. They are in a mood, apparently. I would be, too. Like, your your dominant offense isn't doing anything. I'd be pissed, too. Kind of feels like I'm watching the Bears right now. The 2018 Bears. Third and 10. Dropping back to pass. Bo Melton underneath. Catch, run, trying to make a play, gets eight. A decent punt there from Ryan Stonehouse, but there is a penalty. They ran into him, so it will be running into the kicker or roughing the kicker. Either way, it will pick us up a first down. Wow, the Chiefs get off the field with no points allowed. That's tough. That, that really is. Your defense gets a stop for your offense, and then your special teams fucks you over by just running into the kicker. Three-yard rush there from Hassan Haskins. Yeah, they're coming big here now. They're just saying, everybody go downhill. We're going to guess run here. We're gonna, Everybody just go downhill at this point, right? That is unfortunate. I'm going to let this quarter run out. One person I do want to give credit to is Dorian Dixon, of course. Asking him to move over to center for the game. Being able to come in and play so well right now. He has led this offense very well. Actually, you almost question if we move Malone to guard and kick Dorian Dixon into the center full time. You know, Dorian Dixon has played very well. Unfortunately, he has had some injury issues this season, unlike Chris Malone, who just now is missing his first game in, in the most important time, of course, which definitely does suck. Second and seven now. Going to hand off Haskins here. Get to the outside edge. Can't quite get there. I forget who number 27 is, but he he's able to make a very good play there. Uh, is that uh, Carmarian? Charmarian? I forget 
what his first name is. C. Connor, though. I th think we should almost just go downhill and run the football here, not risk it. Just for the simple fact, I mean, completion does slow down the clock. At least from here, as long as we get some yardage, we should still be in field goal range. Just downhill. If Oliver will get fucking set. Jesus Christ, dude. Get fucking set. I'm pushing X the whole fucking time. And he's just not getting set. Jesus, dude. Now we got to throw the football. Go PA slot. Go cross here. Going to have Wiley just run underneath across the other way. If they're running man, this should work. No, they're running zone. And Chris Jones gets through and get rid of the fucking football. A decent punt there going out at the 11. Kansas City is going to have a very long drive if they want to go down and score. Of course, 21 points. They basically have to score 7 points every 2 minutes at this point to even have a chance at this game. First and 10, going to drop in his zone here, cover underneath. There's Kadarius Toney. Two big hits on him there. Doesn't go down until a 9-yard gain all the way out to the 20 already. They're going to get started off immediately hot. Cannot let them get any hotter than that, though. Second and 1 now here. Going to hop on Wesley. Hopefully beat Cam, uh, fuck, not Cam, I, f whatever, fuck you, Ben Rogers, their young left tackle is now down with an injury, Derek Wesley just beating up on him all game, do have this special formation in, so we do have an extra pass rusher and tier in, and McIntyre wins his rep, Ayers, and the receiver fighting, not quite getting anything going there, a lot of fighting there, a lot of hand fighting, a lot of physical activity, the refs letting us play here today, second and ten now, McIntyre should be able to win even more reps now, I feel like. Go win a fucking rep for us. There's a throw across the middle, and Evans has not been able to keep up with that wide receiver there. Holy shit, somebody bring him down at least. Like, fuck me, dude. First and ten. Granted, I don't know why we're putting a linebacker on a fucking wide receiver. And why we aren't, like, swapping spots and putting the linebacker on a tight end or something. But, hey, what do I know at this point? First and ten. Rasheed Rice there across the middle. Ish area runs like a weird slant or something and gets open. Gonna bring Hooker down. We're gonna run a strong safety blitz here on this right side. Looks like they're almost heading that way, so it might work out for us. There's Farley making a good play, and knocking it out. Let's fucking go, Caleb. Let's fucking go. Be able to get his hand in there, get the ball forced back out. Third and four now. Gonna send some extra pressure here. Actually going to have Shire drop. Nope, can't didn't get it off apparently. And there's the young receiver again, first and 10. Down to the 16 we go. But Kansas City almost wasting too much time. Like, of course they got to take these plays, but too much time is clicking off the ticking off the clock here if they really want to come back in this thing. Here's another good throw to Travis Kelsey, Mark Vickers in cover. See, and then in that situation, I'd rather have McCreary or fucking Ayers or somebody else in coverage. Like, put Mark Vickers against a fast guy. Put him against Kadarius Tony, Sky Moore, somebody else. Like, Jesus, dude. We don't need him going up against the fucking six foot five tight end. Have him go up against one of the speedy receivers. First and goal. Down to the three now after an Isaac, Pate Isaac Isaiah Pacheco run. Jesus fucking Christ. First and goal. Fucking, I'm selling out for the run here. I'm going to sell out for the run. I do not care. I'm going to cover. Uh, can't get there, unfortunately. There's Zach Kuntz, the big physical freak. So Kansas City scores the first touchdown of the day here late. Run the ball here a lot. Unless this Kansas City team can come out and beat us on these run plays. I'm just going to continuously run the football. Halfback stretch here to Haskins. Downhill gets Bolton on his back feet. And second and five now. Ten for 67 on the day for Haskins. It's not quite at that seven-yard mark, but, man, he's played well. He has played fucking phenomenally. They're going to bring the safeties down. I'm expecting a blitz here. I'm going to actually send Haskins out then. Fuck it. If they're going to send the safety blitz here, I'm going to force them to fucking make a play. I'm going to force them to make a fucking play. It's as simple as that. I'm expecting a safety blitz. Yep. Beat him with Traylon. Traylon Burks. Traylon Burks. Touchdown. Fuck you, pussies. Fuck you, pussies. Traylon Burks. Big fucking play there. The veteran shows up. First return of the day and not a good one. Only out to the 18. But then again, they started behind the chains last drive and they were able to go down and score. They started off all the way back to the 11. So they have a chance here. I'm going to spread this D line. I'm expecting pass here. This should be a pass play almost every play here. Evans just not being able to make a play there. Rasheed Rice having a, you know, possession catch there. It's a pass. It's going to be a pass every play. It's as simple as that. 
They spread the D-line. Let them go after fucking Mahomes here. There's no reason to let them not go after Mahomes here. Getting them, getting to him, Keenan McIntyre apparently put a hit on him, so that's a good fucking play there. I, I trust this D-line. This D-line is a very good part of our team. We spent a lot of money and a lot of capital on it, and they were able to come out and make a big year for us. Third and five now here. First, Not a first down here. Well, if they turn over the ball here, this could be it for them. Going to cover Pacheco, and there's Kato Kadarius Tony. I almost said Katoni. I, bit, I probably did, to be fair. Um, first and ten here. Jesus, they are picking apart this zone coverage right now. Yeah, like like that type of shit is, is so fucking annoying. Where he's throwing to... Uh, gonna bring Evans down. We're gonna put some extra pressure. Four guys here. Evans gets through. McCreary and Ayers not been able to stop that catch there. But then again, maybe that catch for only three yards is actually better than forcing the incompletion. Because if... The incompletion stops the stops the clock, whereas this doesn't. She rice a big catch there, twenty three for thirty two. Mahomes going bigger, going home right now. He is doing everything in his power right now to to try to win. Tony there, a big play there again. First and goal now. Only a minute left. Just gonna run zone. Nope, can't get into it. So we're running, man. Somebody go. Get Mahomes! Fumble! And we get it! <laughs> holy shit, I think McIntyre just came up with that forced fumble too. I mean, holy fuck, McIntyre. I know it wouldn't have done much for the game. McCreary making a play, and then McIntyre coming home. Getting there late. Good fucking shit, boys. Good shit. Keenan McIntyre, what a fucking game from him. Jesus Christ. He has played out of his fucking mind. And go 94 will here, just straight downhill. I don't even know if they're going to... Yeah, I don't even think they're going to call timeouts at this point. I think they've kind of realized, like, yeah, no, it's kind of over for us. Like, it, it's over, as simple as that. One more play, and we should be able to get out of here. Second and nine, going to hand off this ball to Spears. Hopefully, he can get some wiggle room here. Ugh. Reed able to make a very good play, so he's going to lose some yards there, unfortunately. But... What a fucking game from our defensive line. More importantly, Keenan McIntyre coming up fucking huge. Two sacks and a forced fumble to save a touchdown. What a fucking game from him. What a fucking game. The defense came in, shut down Patrick Mahomes. But the way the defense is playing and just how sound the offense is right now. You know, the way the offense is playing with, like, no real, you know, bad plays, I would say. Like, no, like, good, great hiccups. You know, the one play where... Uh, Legere Sneed wasn't able to get his feet inbound, and, and he almost came away with that pick. You know, that's a very good play for him, but unfortunately just wasn't able to make the play there. And then, of course, I, I know it still led to a punt, but then their special teams, you know, getting that running into the kicker call as well, just not quite going their way to, here today. Haskins having a good day. Spears having a good day. Just ultimately the offense clicking and the defense for helping out even more. Just there was no question. There was no question after the halftime. We just had to go out there and seal it. Simple as that. What a fucking day, though, from Keenan McIntyre. I'm going to say it once, and I'm going to say it again. He has... He's played fucking phenomenal. If he's not at least at star after this season, I don't know what it'll take, you know? Ten sacks through the regular season as a rookie. You know, there was questions about whether or not he was even going to start over a guy like Khalil Mack or even Yatir Gross Matos, who had a good season last year. And then for him to come out and have 10 and a half sacks and that, or even 12 or something of that nature, 10 and a half or 12, somewhere in that ballpark, having two sacks against the Kansas City Chiefs, one of them being a super huge sack on third down. Another sack is another sack. Of course, he had a good sack there. And then, of course, the forced fumble on the goal line. Just fucking amazing. These rookies, we spent so much draft capital to go get these guys and they've paid out. I really didn't expect it to be that type of game. I was expecting a shootout with almost no defensive played, but man, the defense came to play. They were we were tackling well, we were playing good defense, we were able to stick with a lot of their receivers, slow some of their guys down, like Travis Kelsey and Isaiah Isaiah Pacheco were two of the big guys that we did slow down. Holy fuck. We played an extremely good game. It's as simple as that. It really, really, really is. I do want to go ahead and sim all the way to the Super Bowl real quick. Just because I do want to see who we're going against so that, you know, we have that 
little bit of uh, what we're going to be seeing, of course. Will Levis, of course, wins AFC Austin Player of the Week, having three touchdowns on 175 yards, 17 catches, well, 17 completions for him. Looks like we will be playing the Dallas Cowboys. Um, I don't remember if we've played them this season. I will be 100% honest. I don't remember if we've played them this season or if we played them last season. I think we've played them at least once, though. So there will be that. So, yeah, we are taking on the Dallas Cowboys here in the Super Bowl. Let's go ahead and take a look at their team real quick just to see what we're getting ourselves into. Of course, you know, they're right there with us, basically. We we don't have that great of a passing attack, but they don't have that great of a running attack. But they're right there, right? In a lot of categories, they're they're up there as well. So it's going to be a challenge. They went 13-4. and four. They were able to make it to the playoffs. Well, not even just the playoffs, the Super Bowl. So, I mean, it, it's as simple as that. They've played well all season. We got to go out there. We've played well all season. Now it just comes down to, of course, who can win this final game? Any given Sunday, right? Any given Sunday is the motto here. Go out there, win the game, get it done with. Simple as that. I will say, if anybody does get injured in practice, I'll let you guys know, of course, next week in the next, well, in the next video, but I will probably IR them just to get them out of the way, just to be able to bring as many guys to the Super Bowl as humanly possible is one of the major things. You know, if we lose a center, if we lose a left tackle, we lose a defensive tackle, I'm going to bring somebody up, I'm going to get them going so that we do have a full stable of team, of players ready to go. Um, yeah, time to get going. It's Super Bowl or bust, really. I don't know if we're going to be doing another season after this, of course, because it is already, of course, June. I don't know if we would even be able to finish the fourth season before, of course, not only the new Madden, but before NCAA comes out. So who knows? This could be the last season. I know it's only three seasons, but still, I think it would be a good. I, I didn't get this series out quick enough, and that's my fault. I just it, I took forever, and especially on the first two seasons and then, you know, waiting for the fix to come out and stuff like that. It just didn't help. But. If you guys enjoyed this content or the content here on my channel, I would appreciate if you guys do stick around and subscribe. I'll be back with more videos like this. If you're here for roster updates and you just happen to click on this video and watch it all the way to the end, I do appreciate the support you guys have shown on the channel. I really, really do appreciate the support you guys have shown. It's incredible. Thank you for everybody who is subscribing and watching the videos. With that being said, guys, like I said, if you guys want a roster update, go check those out. I should have them in the description or they're just on my channel. They're pretty easy to find. I do do 2K23. I'm going to be doing 2K24 once the offseason starts. And, of course, I am doing Madden, of course, like always. I don't know if I'm going to be doing an NCAA roster just because of the amount of players there are, as well as the fact that there are reports that uh, player customization is very limited. Like, you can't even change ratings. Like, the only thing you can change on the real players is literally their fucking appearances in terms of, like, gear and stuff. So, you know, depending on... how. All that fun stuff will determine whether or not there is a roster coming out for me. But, like I said, if you guys do enjoy this content, please stick around and subscribe. And I'll be back with more videos like this. But with that being said, I'm out. Peace.